It's like getting so caught up in a good movie that you forget you're watching the movie, you enter the imagined world. And to achieve that state of focus, you have to do two other things. You have to dissociate, put outside of conscious awareness things that would ordinarily be in consciousness. We're not aware of how much information our brains, as you know better than anyone, is processing at any one time. Right now, to listen to me, for example, you have to ignore sensations in your body touching these very nice chairs here. Yeah. Hopefully you weren't aware of that until I mentioned it. If you were, we could stop now. You're already <laughs> bored. So absorption, highly focused attention, dissociation, and, and the other used to be called suggestibility. It's what scares people about hypnosis. Mm -hmm. You know, the um, you know the football coach being made to dance like a ballerina in front of an audience and all that. Now, I don't like making fun of people anyway. But it's different. It's cognitive flexibility. Uh, it allows you to let go of presumptions of who you are, what you are, what you can do. So the football coach is not thinking of what he's going to get in the locker room when he goes back after the performance, but it allows him to do something different, to try out being different.